what advice could you give for a young couple pursuing a Christ-centered relationship? I, I'd imagine this might be a, a dating relationship. Okay. Um, I would say put Jesus first, but don't just say you're putting Jesus first. Act like you're putting Jesus first. And the way you're putting him first is saying, look, we're, we're not going to compromise. We're not going to compromise morally. Uh, it's not j only that you want to do what is right to glorify God. It's not only that you want to make God happy, though, by all means, don't you want to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant, enter into your master's happiness. We, we should all want that. But understand that whatever is for God's glory is for your good. Get that straight in your mind and don't let Satan whisper these lies to you that say, well, okay, um, I could bite the bullet and make this sacrifice of staying away from sexual involvement before marriage, but then I'd really be losing out. Uh, no, actually, the best possible thing you can do is to obey Jesus, obey God's word, and you will experience great blessing. Your life will be better because of it. Your relationship will be better because of it. But Satan's always going to go, oh, yeah, you know, I mean, come on, everybody does this, and so let's do it. Don't allow that kind of compromise to happen so keep yourself pure um, flee from sexual immorality first corinthians 6 says um, you, we have got to uh, be sanctified in our relationships but it's not just a matter of abstaining from what's wrong it's pursuing what's right and pursue what's right in terms of learn to be a servant to this person uh, whether this person is the one you end up marrying or not you need to be a servant in the body of christ we're to give ourselves for the good of others so t any dating relationship you have think of it as preparation for marriage even if this isn't the person you're going to marry and, and often you you don't know by the way right so I mean, Nancy and I met as freshmen in high school, and we never dated anyone else from that time on, you know? And so she was my best friend for 54 years, and we were married for 47 years. Yeah, and so uh, that relationship and everything we poured into it that bore fruit by the grace of God, every effort, every sacrifice, everything you can put into that relationship ultimately for the person you're going to marry and certainly learn that in terms of serving when it comes to dating don't make it about you make it about the other person and then by the way as you serve others what happens your heart is filled you become a happier person as you help them to be happy through serving them